I loved Metro 2033. Fact, a lot of other people didn't. There are a lot of annoyances with the gameplay, but I managed to overlook them, and as I sat in the dark with my surround sound headphones on, I was drawn into the game completely thanks to the amazing graphics and its absorbing storyline. I've been aching for a return to the Moscow Metro for a while now, so when I heard about the recently announced sequel, Metro Last Light, I was pretty damn excited. According to the press release I have in my sweaty little mitt, Metro Last Light pitches the player into the midst of a desperate civil war for control over a doomsday device that threatens to destroy humanity forever. Ooh, tense. But I wanted to know more, so I hopped over to E3 and spoke to THQ's global brand manager, Mark Madsen, to see if he could shed some light on the dark, dingy Metro Tunnel of Truth. Metro Last Light is a continuation of Metro 2033 where you once again take the reins as Artyom and descend back into the Metro. And I can't really share much beyond the story. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be um, off then. Thanks for the interview. Nah, are you joking? You won't get rid of me that easily. So will the storyline in Last Light follow the plot of the novel Metro 2034? No, we're actually taking a different path from the novel Metro 2034. We've kind of created our own storyline that's more gameable, but we are working close in partnership with Dmitry Glukowski. So fans of the novels may be disappointed, but then again, in the Metro 2033 novel, Archom hardly killed anyone, and in the game he lays the commie smack down, yo! Now, a big part of the Metro experience is fighting in the dark and using the absence of light and a great deal of sneaking around to defeat your foes. Will stealth aspects still feature prominently in the sequel? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stealth. We're not going away from that. You can expect a slow burn, some survival horror elements where you're going to have to scavenge over corpses to get your bullets because if you remember the previous game, there weren't many bullets around, so you are always strapped for resources. And the paranormal horror aspect, will that also be returning? Uh, yeah, there are going to be moments. It's not going to be horror all the, all the time, but you can expect heavy atmosphere. You're always going to be wondering what the hell is going to happen next. The main thing that made Metro 2033 so enjoyable for me was the atmosphere that was conjured up by the deep involving storyline and the realistic atmosphere that the game created through the use of its NPCs. Please say we'll be getting more of the same and the game won't receive a dumbing down in order to reach a wider audience. Oh yeah, we're not going away from our slow burn story driven narrative. We're going to have a lot of cinematics to really give you the setting and the context that really makes you feel like you want to fight. Oh yeah, I want to fight. Which is useful because in Metro 2033 we were put up against, well, amongst other things, demons, anomalies, ghosts and even the Nazi Reich. So who or what will we be fighting this time around? Well, I will say that we are going to have new human factions that you're going to fight against. And we are going to have a whole new host of creatures and a new mutant uh, that we are debuting in our booth today. Wait, a new mutant? Does he mean this one? Or, or these? Who knows? I had to rush off to another interview so I didn't get to see the gameplay demo. <sighs> So Mark, although you've been pretty secretive, you've still said enough to get me excited about our next journey into the Moscow Underground. So when can we expect to be getting it on with RTO? So Metro Last Light will be out in 2012 on the PC, Xbox 360, PS3, and the Wii U. Oh, and, and the Wii U as yep. well? Just um, announced today. Wow, so is it going to be a completely different game? Uh, or is it going to be the same game? Can't say. <laughs> it's going to be something great for the fans. So although Mark remained tight-lipped about pretty much every aspect of the game, the fact that THQ and 4A games will be sticking closely to the formula already established in Metro 2033 makes me a happy bunny. If they can make the combat a little bit less clunky and fine-tune the enemy AI, then this new chapter in the Metro franchise should be a corker. Okay, chaps and chapettas, it's competition time. And I have to say, I think this is one of the coolest prizes we've ever given away. Courtesy of the lovely guys and girls at THQ, it's this awesome Metro Last Light gas mask. That's right, someone at THQ thought it would be a great idea to buy loads of ex-World War II army gas masks and give them a bit of Metro Last Light branding. Sweet! 
The gas mask is a snug fit on the head and will stop most known gases from entering your lungs. When not in use, the unit can be disassembled for easy storage under a bed. Just unscrew this bit from the rubbery bit and hey presto, you're now able to store the gas mask in its own special carry bag. This special bag comes complete with some little pockets, some buttons and even a strap. But best of all, it's even got that authentic army surplus store smell. To be in with a chance to win this proper badass prize, all you need to do is answer this simple question. In what Russian city are the Metro games based? A. Moscow B. Mos Eisley or C. Mos Def Email your answer to p32comp at hotmail.co.uk with Metro as the email title and the lucky winner will be picked and announced on our Facebook page on Saturday the 20th of August. Udachi! That's uh, Russian for good luck. Shh.